Hey everybody, Sean here from BoardParacord.com. Today I want to show you how to do a police bracelet. It's going to be all black with a thin blue line down the center. Um, police are kind of getting a bad rap right now in the news lately. So I just kind of wanted to make a video um, because I, I've heard of a lot of people making bracelets for the police. And for those of you that don't ha know how to do the thin line, the thin blue line bracelets, this is a great way to kind of give back to the police if you uh, decide to do so. So, this is just a basic Solomon or Cobra uh, bracelet, and I'm going to show you how to weave the blue into it as you go, instead of trying to use a fid to uh, get it through there. Real easy way to do it. Um, I have about 10 feet of black here, and for this bracelet you're going to use the uh, 1 inch equals 1 foot. So for every inch around your wrist, you're going to use about a foot of paracord. So like I said, I've got about 10 feet here more than I need and I don't have a buckle so I'll be right back oh here we go I do have a buckle there's one alright so this is my center point here the nice thing about one color is that you can do the little trick so you're gonna get your center point bring that straight up through the buckle wrap it over top of the buckle around the back and pull it tight gives you the cow's hitch without having to pull all that paracord through there. Now the only reason I don't do this with two colors is because when you fuse the sections together, the fuse section does not come up through there. Alright, let's flip that over. We're going to run this through our fingers until we get to the ends. They're a little uneven, but that's okay. Alright, now we're going to flip the buckle back over front side and put the paracord up through the back side of the buckle toward the top toward the uh, front of the buckle and pull that on through so when you pull this through you're going to end up with two loops here these loops are just your basic bracelet shape so if this is on your bracelet or on your wrist those two loops are your basic size right there real easy so we can open this up now you're going to have one cord coming out up out of the top of the buckle so one cord goes off to the right, the other one we're going to take off to the left. Now, I don't do many videos with black because the they're kind of hard, or the black is kind of hard to see in the video. To, to like Especially if you start going in and out and looping around and stuff, it's hard to follow it. Um, but this is pretty simple, pretty basic. Alright, so this is just a basic uh, basic length I always do for videos I don't really measure them but if you are measuring them you want to go from this end right here down to right where my fingernail is touching so you're gonna measure from there to there don't measure the the pointy things down here so just to there alright once you get your measurement what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our left cord take it over the tent center two strands let me zoom in just a little bit here so you're going to go over the center two strands, leaving that loop on the left. Take your right cord over your left, then go around the back with it, and up through the loop that you created on the left. And tighten this. Now when you tighten this, you want to make sure that your buckle stays in the same place. And to, to check that, you're going to want to measure again before you go on to the next, the next step. Alright, but what I want to do here, I forgot one thing. We're going to loosen this up just a little. Just enough to open these center strands up. So you have basically everything that you just did, plus you have a hole in the center. Now that hole, what we're going to do is take our, our blue paracord, and we're just going to take this and go right down through that center hole there, and then pull this tight. Sorry about that, I forgot all about the blue. Alright, so get that pulled tight. And now what I want to do is because I still have the inner strands in here, so I'm just going to cut these ends off real quick. And you want to make this portion of this cord, the center line, you want to make this about three inches longer than what your bracelet will be, just so you have a little to work with on each end. maybe three to six inches just so you have a little extra. Alright, so I cut both ends off which 
gets rid of the melted ends so that I can pull these inner strands out. And you just pull those right on out. You're left with a bunch of these little guys. Those are garbage, unless you can use them for uh, some other stuff, I guess. Dental floss, fishing line, there's all kinds of uses for them. All right, and then we'll just make sure that's nice and snug. So what you're gonna do with this is that every other one, you're gonna pull this down and weave over top of it. And I'll show you what I mean. So the first one, we're gonna pull down, okay? Now we took our black over the top, so we're gonna take that, the right side over the top now, and off to the left. The left cord over the right, behind the back, and up through the loop. And go ahead and pull that tight. And then just give this a little, little tug on it just to get rid of that uh, ripple in there, and then get her out of the way. Now do your next one. So now your left one's gonna be over top. This cord always goes over top. This cord always goes behind and then up through the loop. And it's gonna alternate, left, right, left, right, left, right, but it's always gonna be the same cord. So left side over the center, right goes over left, around the back and up through the loop. And pull it tight. All right, now grab your blue, pull that down again. Now we're on the right side with the same cord. And we're just going to go over top all three colors. Create that loop on the right. Left over right. Take it around back. Up through the loop. And pull it tight. And then go ahead and snug that. When you get done, you'll be able to kind of adjust this blue line. It'll be pretty easy to do it. But you want to remember that if your last one, the blue, was down, your next one has to be up. After each tie of your Solomon, you want to move this, either down or up. So I'll do a couple more here real quick. And then I'm going to break away, finish this up. And then I'll show you how to finish up the bracelet when it's all said and done. So this will be my last one here. And I will be right back. Okay, so I'm down at the end here. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> I already did it, but I want to I want to show you what I did here at the end. Um, all right, so what I did is I was getting ready to go. My last pass is going to be over top of the center. So what I don't want to end this at the at the front side of the bracelet. I want the melted end to be on the back side. So what I did is I just melted the end into a point, and I'm just going to thread my fit onto it. And I'm just going to take this right down through the center of the bracelet and out the back side and pull this through. And what that does, it still gives me my line, but now I can melt it on this end. And I'm trying to hurry because my battery is about dead, so I apologize if I don't get all this done, but I'm going to do my best. And my battery light is flashing at me. Alright, so now what you do is you just want to, oh i got to do one more tie here. Give it a nice tug on your last one, just to make sure that it's nice and tight. And cut these ends real quick. Those are some dull scissors. I still, I still got my other ones at my shop right now. All right, let's see. I'm gonna melt this down just a little bit. Use our handy dandy smoothing tool to round off the corner. That looks. Pretty good. I got a little bit of a rough spot on there, I think. And there we go. That should do it. There we go. Oh, yeah, much better. All right, I'm going to cut the blue right at the end, right where it comes up through the, the bracelet. Maybe if the scissors will cut. And I think I'm going to use this lighter because I can direct the flame a little bit better here. There we go round that off. Now what you could also do when you have the um, FID hooked up to this is you could run it down through the center but I, I tend to tie mine pretty tight so it would be really hard to use a FID. That's why this method by um, bringing it down, doing a tie, moving it up, it's much easier than trying to use a FID to, um, 
to lace the blue after your bracelet's al already done. I hope you like this method. I'm sure some of you already use it. And we're gonna round this guy off. You're gonna do the same thing with the blue, but I'm running short on time, so I hope you like this. If you know a police officer, make make them one. They'll, they'll really enjoy that. Um, they'll they'll really appreciate it. So with that being said, until next time, paracord on. <laughs>